All right, y'all, who's ready to catch a peacock? Come on, we gotta be sneaky. Come on. Now, I want all y'all to know that if you ever get stopped by the police and there's no fishing signs, just say you don't speak English. Say, me no speak in English. Get down, get down, get down. Somebody's coming? Get down. Gabe, get down, Gabe. Gabe, get down. Blend, blend in with the, with the surroundings. We have to be one with the grass. Are they coming? Move left and right with the wave, Gabe. <laughs> Am I going the right way? I think we're good, Gabe. <laughs> I gotta get another bait. Damn it. I'll go grab you one. Go get one. You want me to grab you one? Bring a whole bucket. Okay. Go, 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 go. Go. Package, 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 package. Get the bait. Get the bait. Come on, let's roll around. You got it. You got it. Go. It's a dead one. Dang it. Quickly. It's a matter of national security. Go. Come back to the game. Go. Look at that handoff. Come on, Blue Gabe. A rockfish. A rock bass. Big old rock bass. Oh, Get him in. Oh, baby. Get him in. This is it. <laughs> Come on. Get him in. Get him. Oh, oh, my God. God. It's a big one. Oh, oh. Look at that. <laughs> Y'all, this is proof. All you gotta do is duck down when there's no fishing signs exactly. and hide. <laughs> and like I said at the beginning, if a cop approaches you, just say, me no speaking any English. Me no speaking any English. Healthy release back. Should we try for one more? Do it, yes. bro. Why not? What you got to lose? Jail time? Hey, it's all for one and one for all, y'all. <laughs> Oh, this is a big one. <laughs> big one. Big one. These little rods, they do work, and they're black, so they can't, they don't really stand out. It's camouflaged. Fisherflaged. Fisherflaged. Oh, he's on! He's on! Get him in, Gabe! Check him out. Get him in. Get him in, Gabe. Get him in. Oh, another nice one. Dude, this spot is popping, right? <laughs> what are we talking about? Look at that. All right, y'all, we'll see y'all back at Joey's house. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, look, look. Do I look like I'm going fishing today? Probably not. But we are. We're here at Joey Slam's house, y'all. Look at what's in his garage. Like Joe, what's up, man? What? You live in the in the city. What are we doing with catfish in our garage? Catching them in the city. What is that thing right there? This one's a marble car. What's what? That one's a red tail tiger showing those hybrid. It's a hybrid of two fish mixed together to make that. This is my child right here. If you want to come see it? Come pet it. What's his name? This one's called Kitty. Kitty? Yep. Comes up. You can just touch it, do whatever. <laughs> so Joey is good friends with Catch 'em All Zach, who y'all have seen on my channel. And Joey and I are good friends. We just haven't done much yet on film, but we're going to. Right now we're gonna go in his house and show you these awesome fish tanks. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to take John to catch a peacock bass. That's John from Maryland. 
He flies out today, but while we're down here at Fort Lauderdale, we decided we would catch a peacock bass. Joey, what is that crazy looking this thing? This is an arrowhead puffer fish. That this guy's pretty dope. Let me turn on the light real quick. There you go. I love watching you feed this one. See? <laughs> Every time. He's the gladness. He's vicious. This guy's Godzilla. Oh! Every time. That would have hurt. All day. He got me good. He split my finger open the other day. This guy's so cool. He's everything. All right, y'all. So I've, my kids and myself watch Joey's stuff all the time. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. He feeds all these fish and these turtles. But he's got Tyson. Tyson is what we're here to see because we're going to come back and do a video on just Tyson. Can we go see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go see him. So when you check Joey's channel out, you'll see that he feeds all these awesome fish. They go fishing. They go bow fishing. I'll have his channel right here. Look at him. He's like, bro, I will jack you up. I'm going to feed him right now. He's hungry. He's like, oh, yeah. Give it to me, daddy. You want to do it or you want me to do it? No, you do it. All right. I'll see it. I get the scent and start losing his mind. <laughs> you see the feelers and everything? Yeah. Try to get him to swim up. Come on, buddy. Here you go. <laughs> Look at that. See that? Oh! Ooh. One more time. One more time. Do it to him. I'm trying to fight him. You got the whole thing. You can actually feel it in your hands with this. I'm telling oh, you, oh, you can hear it. You can, and that's like no sound effects, nothing. Yeah. That's literally the genuine sound. He can crack this glass too if he gets a hold of it the right way. Mm. If he hits it on the corners or something, one day I'll wake up, there could be salt water in the ground, and I can have him in my head. <laughs> Just trying to go ahead and get something out of my hair. So we're gonna come back. When you guys check out Joey's channel, and please do, because there's awesome content. He brings little creatures home and does Tyson versus whatever he puts in there. Has Tyson, no, he obviously hasn't lost yet because he's, he's still alive. <laughs> but he jacks up crawdads and shrimp and all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, Jake and I are going to go get something and come down here and challenge him. Just do it, bro. Obviously, we don't want to hurt Tyson, but we're going to bring something that might put up a little bit of a There's fight. There's no chance. Tyson always wins. Let's go peacock fishing. We'll right. see you all in a second. All right, y'all, we have arrived. Joey said we have exactly 35 minutes before the police get here, so we're going to try to do this in a hurry. There he is. Fish on. There he is. That's a good fish right there. Oh, heck yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. There's rocks. You gotta be careful. Yeah, I think so. That's a good fish. That's a good one for your first one right there. Look at that red bump. That they shake their heads super hard. Oh, gotcha. Hold them nice and tight. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that bump. That's a male, right, Joey? Yeah, it is. Sure is. He's been caught before, too. Yep, I see He's got a nice little hole on his side of his face. Look at that. Solid, clean fish right there. That's a pretty fish, Gabe. That's right. See you later. Gabe! Gabe, don't let go, Gabe! Gabe, get up, Gabe! Gabe, Gabe are you okay? I'm, I'm trying to get cutaways for the YouTube and I just ate it. <laughs> trying to be slick over oh here. Oh my god. How are your knees, my friend? Oh, I feel my butt. Oh no, not like this, Gabe. It probably just scared all the fish. Oh, dude. So I just take it right there in the bottom lip and come out through the top part of their lip. All the other lakes that I fish for peacocks down here, if you found a duck like that on an irrigation pipe, there would almost always be peacocks. Uh-oh. Joey, what's the biggest peacock you've seen caught down here? Seven pounds. Woo! In this exact spot. Actually, the, the other culvert. I can take oh! oh! Got him! That's a giant! <laughs> uh. Did you see that oh bite? Oh my god. Out of nowhere. Crystal, get that GoPro. <laughs> this is a big one. This is a four or five pounder. 
That's a good fish. That's the big one. What a fish, Gabe. What a beast. He's thick. Oh! Just like that. Look at the size of this one. Look how big he is. He come up right up on that bank and just su sucked it up. See, the hook is just barely hung in there. So I ain't hurting nothing to pop it out. I've got this little dome trying to get y'all some cool shots. Just to show you what they look like in the water and out of the water. Mm. Time to turn him loose. Thanks for the hookup. Yeah, brother. Of course. Now I'm going to fish again. He's running. Oh! Another one. Another one. Get in there. That one's a little smaller guy. Oh, this guy is a small frog compared to the big one you got oh, last yeah. time. Oh, yeah. That cold weather, we got him with a lighter color that time. You see that? Yeah. It's a little small frog. <laughs> so the reason we use circle hooks is it's always hooked in the corner of their mouth, and you don't have to worry about gut hooking them. Hook pops right out. Nice little peacock. See you, buddy. Oh, here it is. Oh, she whooped that thing. Butt. Here to me. We're gonna get this little one off quick. Let me go get her. Because we just saw a giant. All right, here's a perfect example. So see that J hook down there in the bottom of his throat? A circle hook wouldn't do that, but sometimes there's a need for a J-hook. I can get it out though. See how I just did that? Joe, you ever seen somebody do that that I quick? I did. He's hooked up to another one. Oh, there's the big one. I think he got the big one. That's another toad. <laughs> oh my God. This is a good one. It's just non-stop action today, Gabe. This is awesome. I'm trying to keep up going left and right. I don't know who to film. <laughs> That's another nice one. Look at that. Oh, there we go. That's another nice one. That's actually smaller than the last one, too. Yeah. Look at that. Give it a good kiss. There we go. See you later. Wow. That is awesome. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Yes, They're they so are. lively even right after yeah, you they fight are. them. They, they, that's a lot harder fighting in a largemouth. 100%. Yeah. Oh, he's on the surface chasing it. The anticipation's killing me. Oh, he got it. Get, Get him in. Oh. Nice. Whoop him in. That's a pretty one. Look at that. There's your first peacock. Way to go. Squeeze him tight. <laughs> Show him off. For all y'all wanting to get into filming, See all that fog? I highly suggest not buying a GoPro 8. GoPro, y'all need to get y'all stuff together because this GoPro 8 ain't cutting it. Now back to the original deal you're looking at. <laughs> Whatever I was gonna just say. <laughs> Good fish. You like the fight? Oh yeah. Nice. You got all up in the water and everything. Goodbye. Way to go. High five. Thanks. All right, let's see if we can make it happen again. Now, we don't know if we got that bite on footage, but that huge peacock swam right up here in the shallow water and drilled that shiner. I really want to catch a small one to eat because I want to see what they taste like. My brother, Aubrey Bredis Moss Grande, a lot of people don't know this, but he got his doctor's degree studying these peacocks. Huge fish, huge fish, huge fish. Big one again? Big. It's always important.
to keep oh, a bin in the rod. Big one. Dude, they're eating on a chilly day, man. Look at this, another big male. Look at that orange belly. That beautiful peacock dot. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Just like that, it's off. Look at those colors. It's beautiful orange belly, green head, big old black eyeball, and a huge mouth. Here he goes. See ya. All right, I'm gonna let Crystal catch some more, and Joey, the man, he wants to catch some, so I'm gonna start filming. So, give me some over the shoulder thoughts that are going through your brain right now. This is awesome. It's like nothing I've ever done before. I mean, we have large mouth and we've shiner fish for them before, but these fight so much harder. And he's got a big one. J Joey! Right there. How you, what in the world? I was reeling it in and it came up right here. <laughs> these fish are so awesome. Dude, they're fired up. I'm about to go ahead and chase the big ones when I go out of town. Look at that. Oh, they're so powerful with their head shakes. They're so powerful. Look at that. Let me clean them off for you. Look at that fish right there. Look how beautiful they are. They're all solid today too, man. Look at that. You trying to take one home to eat? Yeah. Should we take him? This one looks pretty good. Looks that does too? Yeah. I think this could be it. What do you think? I think we picked. That's the one. That's the one we're taking home to eat, y'all. We got a cooler in the truck. We're only going to keep one, though. We love this species, and there's not just gazillions of them, so we're only taking one. But we're going to have some peacock bass. I think I'm going to do something completely different. Completely different. Y'all just have to wait and see. Sweet deal. Let me see him. I'll go run and put him in the cooler. The next time y'all see this one, he'll be in some sort of a cooking device at my house. All right, new spot, round two. This one, we might do a duck catch clean and cook, though. You never know. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> here they come. Oh! oh! You, you know I just that? had that focus on that, and that was a swing and a miss. <laughs> come on. Here it is. That's a good one. Hey, we got a double here. There you go. Oh, a devil, a devil. Can we get a triple? Oh, no, let's try. Get a, got a double. Get a triple. I'm just a cameraman, I can't help. Get in here. That's a nice one, Tristan. Look at that. that is... Look at that nice double. Mmm. They look good, they're all solid fish. All right, we got two nice peacocks right over here on the bank. Baby. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's an orange one. Pretty yellow one. Damn. Look at that. First cast at the news. You think they're not strong? Look how bent that hook is. Gosh, you almost cannot stop them from shaking. Look at that. Y'all watch Blue Gaby snake his fish real quick. Right over here. He helped and nailed it. There he is, there he is. Ooh! <laughs> y'all, get him in, Gabe. As seen on TV, y'all just watched me snake Mr. John's peacock. Look at the colors. Colors on this little guy. Come over here and get him a little closer. Oh, he has all these spots too. Look at that. That's a nice one, man. Look, Look how beautiful that, that is. That's so cool. We could probably just <laughs> eat him right now. <laughs> peacock sushi. Hey, we're doing work on some peacocks, but we're about to head to the airport to drop Mr. John off because he's got to fly back to Maryland 
and I'm heading to the Crystal River to go red fishing tomorrow. And then I'm headed to Alabama to meet deer meat for dinner and go kill a deer. All right, y'all, one big fat peacock bass. So today we're loading up to go to Crystal River red fishing tomorrow and then straight to Alabama to go meet deer meat for dinner, my parents and everybody to do an awesome deer hunt. But right now we're gonna cook this peacock. We're not cooking him for lunch though and we're not cooking him for dinner. We're cooking him for breakfast. That's right. I've been getting a lot of requests to do other meals besides dinner. So I'm making fish and eggs. And this will be the first time I've ever ate peacock. Looks pretty darn good to me. Flip him over. And once I get near the tail, I go ahead and poke it on through. Lift that flay up. Start following the backbone. He's got some pretty rank pin bones, I know that. Just like that, it's done. Come right here. Just follow that skin right down. Done. Cut the pin bones out. Now anytime there's a little bit of blood like that right there, I'll come in and angle my knife just a little bit and cut that out because that bloodline can have some fishy taste to it. All right, look at that beautiful piece of fish. That's the other side. Anytime I'm cooking a filet of fish, the shoulder is always going to be bigger than the rest of it. So I'll make a cut right there because this part is going to cook faster than the shoulder. So I separate them so the fish is cooked evenly. All I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt. Not a whole bunch, just enough. Then I'm going to add some of the butter garlic. And you can go heavy with this because it's not salty at all. It's just full of flavor. My grease was getting hot, so I went ahead and put the fish in there, and then I'll season the other side. Just like that. Now, we're cooking grits as well. And I know a bunch of y'all up north don't eat grits or don't even know what grits are. These are grits and it's what all of us grew up on and they're so so good but you can't just cook them like that you got to doctor them up so i take about a teaspoon of butter i don't normally do this cheese but the kids really like cheese just add a bunch of cheese in there and start stirring it up and that will all turn into such goodness all right, while the fish is cooking, I'm going to show you all one of my favorite things in the world to eat. These little avocados. And I just cut squares in them. Then I take just regular lemon and put a bunch in there. A bunch of black pepper. And a pretty good heaping of salt. And you just sort of move them around in your hand and let all that juice move around in there. And that's going to go perfect with this dish. Look at these little things my mom gave me. You can just flip the fish perfectly. Thanks, mom. What do I do? Turn my burner down? Yep. Oh yeah, that fish is going to be good. Got the grits done. Now all we got to do is cook one egg. Mm. Alright, let's get this party started. 
Come on, egg, just slide right on out for me. Perfect. Now, like I said before, these shoulder pieces aren't done yet, but the belly pieces are. Lay that right on that egg. Take one good little scoop of grits and put it right on the side. And that is breakfast. I can tell you it's going to be good, but let me try it real quick. Let me try it. Watch this yolk. Nice and runny. So I've got the kids here, got Crystal behind the camera. We can't sit down and eat because i got to cook everybody breakfast, but I'm definitely going to try it. Oh. Man, that's good. That's like insanely good. I don't know why I've never ate fish and eggs like that, but holy mackerel. That's so good. But you guys, I got a pack. We got to get gone. I got a long drive, a long week ahead of me. Thanks for all the likes. Thanks for all the positive comments. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully you stick around for the future because it's only going to get better from here. But like Jake always says, we're getting heck up out of shape. See y'all.